the first part of the answer the rms value is going to be e not over root 2 e not by root 2 and the second part the average value of a sinusoidally varying ac current is going to be zero so e average is zero now just a little bit of explanation on this though you don't need to write it in the exam rms means the root mean square root mean square value so to find the rms value you need to first take the square then the mean and finally the root let's say e e is equal to e not sin omega t now squaring this would give us e square equal to e not square sin square omega t so we've done this first step we've squared this value next we need to find the mean so to find the mean of this quantity to find the mean of this quantity we'll write this as e not square sin square omega t and integrate this over time over the full time period from 0 to t and then divide this by the time period now this gives us the mean value and finally to get the rms value we need to take the square root of this value that we get after integration now to integrate this you can see that e not is a constant so we need to integrate sin square omega t dt from 0 to t first of all we'll use the identity that cos 2 theta is equal to 1 minus 2 sin square theta so we can write this as half 1 minus cos 2 omega t dt from 0 to t now you can take the half outside so integral I'll just put a bracket over here now integral of 1 dt would be t and then substituting the limits so we have t minus integration of cos 2 omega t will be sin 2 omega t by 2 omega and then we substitute the limits in this from 0 to t so substituting the limits over here gives us half t minus now this is sine this is sine 2 omega and when you substitute the upper limit you have omega t now you know that omega is equal to 2 pi by capital t so this would be sine 2 and omega t would be 2 pi which is sine of 4 pi now you know sine n pi is 0 so sine 4 pi would also be 0 and then minus the lower limit so lower limit would be sine 0 which is 0 so this part will give you 0 so all that you're left with is t by 2 now coming back to this e rms is equal to we have 1 over t e naught square is a constant and this integration gives us t by 2 and then you have to take the root of this so this gives us e naught by root 2 and when you're finding out the average value just the average value then that would be 1 by t integral e naught sin omega t dt from 0 to t and you can similarly prove that this integration would is going to be 0 so this is equal to 0 the average value 
Now the same question might have been asked slightly differently. Instead of over a complete cycle, they could have asked you over half a cycle. So what is the RMS and average value over half a cycle? 